Hey gamers, this is Liz Davidson from Beyond Solitaire, and I'm here with another battle card preview. So this one is Moro River, and in this case we are in Italy, and we've got the Canadians trying to push the Germans all the way back to, I'm not sure how to pronounce this, Torre Muccia. Um, so we are trying to, within six turns, get all the way to this space and push the Germans back. They, meanwhile, are going to try to reinforce themselves and counterattack us from spots, and uh, we'll just kind of see how it goes. On top of that, each turn, we're going to have to determine if there's going to be a mud problem. So right now we're in the rain space, but uh, depending on the weather roll at the end of each turn, uh, we can end up with mud, which is horrible, uh, but it'll be fun. Also, by the way, if you were setting this up, um, information about where to set up in the die values is under the dice currently, but when you are doing the print and play version of things, you can just set this up. So again, this is a part of the battle card series. This is a little print and play pack that you can get on Kickstarter uh, starting when this video drops. And what you're able to do is print it out, and then one side is the board, and then one sheet is literally the entire set of rules. So this is meant to be very simple, very quick, and very nice. So first we're gonna battle. So battle, battle, battle. Everybody's going to progress along these three tracks. And so we're just going to do going up the tracks each roll. Um, just so you know, these guys don't cross tracks. We can reinforce the Canadians a bit across these red lines on the map. Uh, but generally, it's very, very tracked. And you should expect that. So let's go ahead. Oh, let's, let's just keep that. No, I'm kidding. All right. So we have this first roll. The Canadians have an advantage. So let's roll it. Oh, a two. Less inspiring, but oh well. Uh, so we have Canadian advantage. So we're going to lose one. So this red one right here. And then the Germans are going to lose one. And that W means withdraw. So we're going to go down to five. They are going to go down to four. And they have to withdraw. And then we're going to have to decide if we want to chase them in a second, which obviously we do. Here they're even. So this is the chart we're looking at. All right. So that was actually really nice. Uh, they get a minus one. We don't lose anything. And they have to withdraw. But they move into this little space with the hatching. Uh, that means that they're going to go back up to five because there's a one on that space. Uh, and then here we have an advantage. Let's see how we do though with that. A two, you know, it's not hot, but it's okay. Uh, so one minus one minus one and the Germans withdraw. So we go down to five. They go down to three. They withdraw to the gully and they go back up to four because they came into a reinforcement space. So let's go ahead and decide now the Canadian advance is going to happen. Do we want to advance? It is voluntary. The Germans won't come at us if we stay here, but why would we do that? Let's go, baby. Let's take these guys. All right, and then there's going to be a German counterattack from two of these spaces. So this one, no, because there's no hash marks in the um, in the space, but this one will counterattack, and so will this one. Uh, so again, it's based on charts. So here's my German counterattack chart. Um, the Canadian advantage space means that generally nothing will happen unless we roll a one. Uh, in this one where they're even, it could just be minus one, minus one. Or if we roll really well, it'll be no effect. So let's try these guys first. Okay, so we rolled a two. That means that we'll lose one, but so will they. Uh, and then here, we're going to roll for this German counterattack. So we roll a three, uh, and that will be no effect because the Canadians have an advantage. So the German counterattack is over. And now we're in Canadian preparations. Do we want to transfer strength? So once per turn, we can basically decrease one of these units by one because they're all along the same line and add that force to another one. But uh, I'm not really sure there's a need to do that. And we also have a reserve with two. We can distribute it as we wish, but once we're out of points, it is gone. So maybe we want to hang on to our reserve and kind of figure out a little bit more information about where we want to put it. We're looking okay for now, I think. At least, let's hope. So we're going to leave it as is during the pre during the preparation phase. And now we're going to do weather. So let's roll for the weather. Okay, thank goodness we got a 1. So on a roll of 1 to 4, we stay in the rain. On a roll of 5 to 6, we get a mud. And then all of our rolls get a minus 1, which sucks. So fortunately, it didn't happen. All right, so now we're at 2. And we're just going to begin again. Um, let's fight it out. So starting with this battle, Canadian advantage. All right, an amazing two. We're really, really doing it, guys. So four, three, they withdraw, they go up to four. Um, here they're even, let's do another battle. Okay, so we rolled a two. Um, so for no advantage, 
it's still um we lose one they lose one and they withdraw and then here we have a little bit of an advantage uh but we still just got a three so it'll be minus one so we'll go down to four minus one they'll get to three but then oh gosh they're gonna come here and they're gonna go up by two in the space where they're at so all the battles are resolved and now we have to decide if we're going to keep advancing and i think that we should because i want to be able to you know redistribute along here so let's do it we're gonna move up we're gonna move up and we're gonna move up that means there's going to be counterattacks in two spaces this time. So this one, no, but these two have the little uh, marks in the spaces that indicate there will be a counterattack. So that's what we'll do. So for this one, they're even. Uh, we rolled a three. So a three on this chart is minus one, minus one. So we're down to two. Woo! And they are down to two. Uh, just remember, if we lose two out of three of these units, we're going to lose. Uh, so yikes. And then here we have a, another roll let's we'll see how it goes okay so we have a four here uh but the germans had an advantage it'll just be minus one to us oof okay so now things aren't looking super hot so we need to figure out how we want to play this i think what we do is that these look healthier um and it's kind of either way it could be okay i think that since this one's the one that's disadvantaged i maybe want to pump up these other units that'll have advantage going forward um, so that we have a better chance of pushing on the die rolls back into these spaces. So I'm actually going to be horrible. Um, I'm going to cannibalize this poor guy. So we're just going to take him down to two. Sorry to put this one up to three. And then let's take our reserve and let's bump it down by one and make this one five. And then we have a little bit of allocation that we can still do. So this uh, these guys in the gully are like, what? No, don't do that to us. But I'm just going to be cruel. All right. So on a weather dive, whew, we rolled a three. So we advanced to turn three. Let's see if we can get all the way here. All right. Uh, battle time. So let's battle. Ooh, a five with Canadian advantage. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. So these guys lose one and withdraw and we're still in good shape. And they don't reinforce this time. Wah ha ha ha. Um, okay, so this is three to two. Let's roll. A three. Okay, that's reasonable. Uh, so that means that we lose one, but so do they. And they will withdraw. We're getting there. All right, and then this battle is doomed, but let's roll. We rolled a two. Nice, nice. It wasn't nice. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh so basically these guys died but the germans lost one but they're just gonna hang out here is the thing like if you don't push them back they don't necessarily move back um so we've lost one unit we just can't lose another but other than that we're basically gonna be okay so let's just hope for the best here i'm gonna have to take a risk i do believe uh we're gonna just keep pushing up and hope that this guy doesn't die because uh, we don't also have we also just don't have the most time uh but there isn't going to be a german counterattack, so actually we're pretty set if they're not on those boxes with the stripes no stripey no counterattack. so let's do some canadian preparations we're going to take out the rest of our reserve to pump these guys up to three uh and i think that will be good um and then we're just gonna keep going let's roll the weather die so it's a two uh, so we go to turn four with decent weather still, thank God. Um, this is a tight game, actually, the, when you think about it. And we're going to do these two battles. All right, so let's do this first one where we have advantage. A one. <sighs> this is why you do it this way. Okay, so we're down to four. Um, and then this one, let's try it. Got advantage here, too. A two. Ooh, stunning. Stunning work, y'all. Uh, but we're going to go down to two. And the Germans, happily, get eliminated. Bye. Yay. Okay, so that's really good, actually, because we're going to advance into Tori with you. Um, so we will get this win. Um, so we would do a Canadian advance now, and we're going to advance right into here. So we managed to make it happen. 
But as you can see, if you put too much of your hope into one um, little army and you end up in trouble, then you can actually ac accidentally kill off all of your turns, which actually happened to, which is what happened to Mike Kelly and me the first time we played this together uh, a little while ago. So, uh, yep, this is the battle, uh, this is battle card Moro River. It is fun. It is quick. This entire recording took like 12, 13 minutes before editing. Uh, so I'm going to count that as a very delightful, quickie card game. And again, these are just sort of designed to teach about different battles from World War II and do it in a way that's efficient, but also gets across some of the advantages and disadvantages of each side and tries to recreate some of the real tensions in the battle, but in this very, very tight format. So hopefully you enjoyed this. Honestly, at the price that these things are being sold at, so low that if you have a printer, like, you might as well just do it. Um, but hopefully it's gave you a sense of whether you want to or not. So quick solitaire war game. Uh, very speedy. Makes me wonder about the educational possibilities of games like this for the future. Uh, but for now, thank you so much for watching. Uh, there will be a Kickstarter link in the show notes. And happy gaming, everybody.